Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have an exciting video in store for you. Without further delay let's kickstart. We have three web servers, Server A, Server B, and Server C, all are running in different IP addresses, and we are going to place an Nginx reverse proxy server in front of these servers, and will route some websites. If a client calls website mywebsite.com, then our engine X will route to server B. If a client calls mywebsite.com slash view, the time engine X will route to server C, and if a client calls for website example.com, that time our engine X will route to server A. This is what we are going to demonstrate here. Okay, without further delay, let's go to the configuration. As you see, I have three websites and all are running on different IP addresses. You can see our Nginx server is running and rendering CentOS default page. Let's log into Nginx server. Go to the Nginx configuration path. This is the Nginx configuration file. For editing purposes I'm opening this file in VS Code, you can use any editors. In this configuration file you can see some default entries, you have to know this. User Nginx means, the application process will run as the Nginx user. The worker process means, how many threads are needed to be allocated for the Nginx? If we assign auto then it will be allocated up to all available threads, if we assign one then it will be allocated only one thread. This will be the location for saving the error logs. PID means process ID, this process ID will store it in this file. Worker connection means, the maximum allowed number of simultaneous connections. For example, if the worker process is 1 then Nginx will allow maximum 1024 simultaneous connections. Next is the log format, you can see by default the remote client IP address and user included in the log. So you can easily find the remote client IP address and other details from access logs. This is the access log location, which also you can modify, if you want to disable this access log then just comment it. This is the main part of the configuration file. I am going to configure example.com first. Disable the default page. Location slash means, any request made to your server's root path, that will be reverse proxied to the backend server. Proxy pass, here we need to specify the backend server. What it means, whenever a hit comes to the example.com then our Nginx proxy will route it to the server A. Copy the same code for the next website. Here I'm going to configure second website mywebsite.com. It should route it to server B. In this configuration we need to set path-based routing. Path-based routing means, directing incoming HTTP requests to different backend servers or services based on the URL path of the request. Here path is slash view. We can copy the same code for the path-based routing. Location should be slash view.
it should be routed to server C. OK, let's save. Here we need to pass a DNS host entry for this demo. In the real scenario, you have to route your website's DNS record to the Nginx public IP address through your domain registry, like GoDaddy. As you see, I have given a host DNS entry for both websites to Nginx server IP address, which means, whenever I try to access both websites from this system, then it will point to the Nginx server. OK, let's reload the Nginx. Let's try example.com first. Yes, it is working as expected. Next, try for my website.com. Perfect, that also working. Next we can try for path-based routing. Oh, got an error. This is the default error page of Nginx. It means something wrong in the configuration. Let's troubleshoot. Here is the mistake. Let's save and restart the Nginx. Perfect, finally it is working. Exactly what is happening here, the client request for both websites are hitting on our Nginx server, and our Nginx will route those requests to the appropriate servers. In the client's perspective, they can't identify which server is behind the Nginx. Next we are going to configure SSL certificate. Before we continue, I have a small request for all of you. I've noticed that many of you are enjoying the videos, but not everyone is subscribed to the channel. If you're truly enjoying our content and want to support us, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. Your subscription not only keeps you updated with our latest videos but also helps us continue creating valuable content for you. Now, let's get back to the video. Configuring SSL in Nginx server is not a big task as you think. Just enable this section. Copy your domain SSL certificate and key to this path. If anyone needs to know more about how to create self-signed certificates or CA-signed certificates, you can find the links in the description. Both files are copied to the server. Next I'm going to configure my website.com. I am copying the same entries here. Here I'm securing only my website.com. Let's save and reload the Nginx. OK, let's call my website.com with HTTPS. Yes, it is working. We have successfully configured SSL on our website. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts then just comments in the comment box.